Ever since its inception in the early 20th century, the aviation sector can be considered as one of engineering's most admirable achievements, shaping the world as we know it today. Aircraft developments have been constantly driven by progress and innovation, producing some of history's most iconic moments. Improved capacity, range, safety, speed and efficiency have resulted in the sector becoming a key contributor towards globalisation, establishing itself as an essential part of the transportation industry as a whole. However, as a result of environmental concerns, new low carbon and electric alternatives are being proposed within the industry. The automotive and rail sectors have already experienced a shift towards electrification, and recent emission goals specific to the aviation sector have spurred the development and proposal of new aircraft technologies, such as more electric, hybrid and all electric aircraft. One proposal is the Turbo Electric Distributed Propulsion Topology, which is comprised of gas turbine powered generators supplying a high voltage DC network through electronic power conversion. This power is then transferred to electric fan motors, providing the sole source of propulsion for the aircraft. Certain prototypes for future aircraft have adopted this technology, such as the NASA N3X. Electrical fault management is a key component of any aircraft's electrical system, adequately addressing and mitigating the effects caused by faults within these isolated electrical systems is essential to the aircraft's safe operation. However, the turbo-electric distributed propulsion architecture presents numerous challenges regarding fault management when compared to conventional aircraft. This is primarily because, unlike jet-powered aircraft, the efficient and safe distribution of electrical power is absolutely essential to maintain propulsion. Therefore, the protection strategy governing this network has to be developed considering all the constraints resulting from DC networks in an aeronautical context. Here at the Saw Lab in the Tick Building, we are committed to developing an electrical fault management system specifically tailored to the turboelectric distributed propulsion topology. This system is based on a production strategy which takes into consideration reconfiguration options, the criticality of a fault and the aircraft stage of flight. In order to determine the operational characteristics of such a protection system under normal and fault conditions, detailed models of individual components were developed to determine the specific challenges of each network element. Here we can see an example of such a model, in this case a high voltage DC rectifier. Once the specifications of the fault management strategy were understood, a full-scale model was developed to test the functionality of the proposed strategy. This holistic approach allowed for a full validation of the algorithms before their future implementation. While these mathematical models were being developed, a hardware rig, technically representative of a turboelectric distributed propulsion network, was also developed to validate and test the operation of the proposed fault management system and to visualise the effect that multiple fault scenarios would have on such a network. This hardware testbed was comprised of DC generators, DC link capacitors, energy storage systems, a DC distribution network, protection measurements, isolation and reconfiguration switches, and auxiliary and propulsive loads, with all the protection system being operated through the use of a compact real-time controller on which the fault management strategy is operated. The work being carried out here is the beginning of a long road to fully developing reliable and robust fault management systems which meet the requirements of future electric aircrafts. Here at SOAR, we are committed to developing the infrastructure required to enable low carbon air travel, paving the way for a greener future.